Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen how to pass the state data as a props to the component. So using the higher order component connect, which is provided by the React Redux library. Now we have we are passing the state to the as a props to the component. Okay, fine, it's fine. So now how we can use the actions, how we can dispatch the actions. Let's try to see in this video. So if you want to dispatch an actions. We need to create an action. Okay, action is created by using action creator. Let's try to create the action now. So here I am having a folder in the store actions. So here I am creating a new file, something like post actions.js file. Here this is the post actions. Now in this post actions, what I will try to do is I will to I will try to create a action creator. So export function. I can write something like create post action okay this is an function action creator is nothing but the function which returns the action now here i can do the return it is an object it should be consisting of the type so type should be the the identifier it should be unique so i can write something like create post action okay or otherwise i can write post action so create post okay this is the unique identifier now we have created a action creator now what i can do here so we need to create a separate what i can say variable something like constant map normally we would be naming this one as in the in the in the outside internet if you want to see any articles they will be creating a variable name with map dispatch to props and this one is a function okay this one is also a method which has dispatch as a parameter and you can have this one okay now this one will return this function will return an object and in this object you will be sending all the dispatch so here i will be creating something like create post so this is object key now here you will be having a function so this one will dispatch the create post action so what is the post action we have created the action creator we will be calling this create post action okay whoever calls this create post whoever calls this create post executes this create post it will dispatch and create post action okay now we and this connect takes the second parameter the second parameter is nothing but the map dispatch to props okay the state will be of first parameter and the dispatch to props will be of second parameter these two will be submitted to the send as a props to the post component now how we can use here so let's try to create a button here i will try to create a button here button okay class is equal to class name okay class name is equal to what i can do bg color hyphen red hyphen 300 or something like this okay so px hyphen 3 EY hyphen 2 or something like this. So now here I can create create post. Now let's try to see the output. If I try to see the output, so here I am able to see the create post button. Now what I will try to do, okay. So now here we need to add something like BG hyphen red hyphen, okay. Now if you try to see the create post button, I am able to see. Now what I will try to do is, so here what I can do on click on click is equal to this dot on create post dot find of this whatever thing you want you can mention so now on create post this is a method so now i will create a method for this one so here i will create on create post okay so here i will be creating on create post in this on create post what i will try to do is so here i will try to call this dot props dot so this create post where it is this create post will be sent as a props here so i can take this one and i can call directly create post okay so now we have called the action okay so now what this action will do so we need to write the reducer now so we need to write the reducer so upon calling this action what is the thing it need to be updated or what is the thing it need to change in the state so now here it comes the 
reducer and in this reducer we need to write the action so now here i can write if action dot type is equal to is equal to so the type is nothing but what we can say is this is the type so now normally duplicating the string make made cause so what we can say typo mistakes so normally what the people will be doing is so they will be creating this way is all string in one separate constant so here i can write something like create underscore post underscore action here i can paste it like this and now i can use this constant here automatically and here also i can in the reducer i can use it directly okay let's import this create underscore post underscore action now if action dot type is equal to is equal to create underscore post underscore action now i need to create a i need to add a post i need to create a post i need to add a post so for right now what i will try to do is i will try to create a dummy post and i will insert it in the post array later on we will see about the uh, what we can say uh, ajax calls asynchronous calls how we can make in the redux we will try to see later on so now uh, action dot type is equal is equal create post is there right now what i will try to do is so let's create one post single post so here i will try to copy this single post okay now this id should be unique right what i will try to do is math dot random i will take something like math dot random so this one will have a random id post title to whatever the name you want you can write this also so this is a single post now as we know that so we are long from if you are following my channel so we have covered so many state management libraries we have covered vuex library we have covered ngrx library we have covered now we are covering redux library so all the time i told you that reducer is a pure function and we need to change the state immutably so that means without without modifying the state we need to add this add the data into the state so now immutably if you want to do means so let's take something like constant post is equal to so i am i am taking the copy of the post okay i am not directly assigning the post to here i am taking the copy of the post so using the spread operator or otherwise you can use object dot assign something like that J some people will be using json dot stringify and json dot like this they will be using so anything so you need to copy the object so a new copy now what i can do here so post is there so now what i can do is here i can directly do post dot push that single post okay i i push the single post here so now i need to return the state okay before returning the state i will modify the posts also that's it this is the reducer what we have created now if you try to see the output now if in the post actions we have did the post we are able to get the dispatch now on create post i am dispatching an action you are able to see that create post now let's see the output so now if i refresh this page and if i click on the create post see you are able to see that new post is being getting added into the post data so that means the state is getting updated automatically so this is how we will be dispatching an action in the redux now what you can see is here so this is the how the react uh, what we can say the actions will be working in the redux uh, react library now apart from this dispatching these all the things you also have another uh, useful method that is nothing but which is provided by the react uh, Re react redux library so useful method wrapper method that is nothing but the bind action creators okay so bind action creators what this bind action creators will do let's try to see here okay now if you try to see so what I, I will show you if i if we try to see so if you try to see here we have he has mentioned a map dispatch to props uh, function and this one is returning a dispatch okay parameter and we are returning the bind action parameters like bind action creators so let's modify this one using this one, same thing let's copy this one automatically and what i can do is so instead of returning these all the things i can remove this one and i can directly paste this one so now here we have a bind action creators this should be imported from the react redux library so here create post action okay let's remove one or otherwise automatically so bind action creators it is from redux okay so let's import this one and now what i will try to do i will try to remove these all the things we have a, we need to provide the action creator here so you need to remember that we need to give the action creator so now what i can do 
here we have an action creator of something but post create post sorry create post action so we have create post action why this one is not coming so we have here export function so okay so we can directly provide this one create post action i don't know why this one is not coming so let's import that one directly sorry import from so here i can go something like so something like i can go to the store and i can go to the actions and i can go to the post actions okay so now here what is the thing i need to import create post action so hopefully this one will solve us yeah so now let's try to see the output whether this output is working or not now the what the code we have written using the bind action creators whether it is working or not let's try to see so here if i am clicking it's not working okay what is the problem could be let's try to check so why it's not creating here so here the problem is previously what we have wrote so we have added this create post action into the create post so but here the key will be also the create post action so that is the reason what we need to do here create post action we need to use like this now what i can do here now let's try to refresh it again let's try to see the output see the same thing repeats again but we have used the wrapper function helper method that is nothing but the bind action creator from the redux okay so this is how we will be using the dispatch functionality in the components using react redux library with the variable map dispatch to props by passing as a prop props to the component these are all the things okay so hope you understood about the a map dispatch to props how to send the actions to the component so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you